Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we're going to cover how you can take the square root of a negative number. So in this case we have the square root of negative 144. So what you want to do is I'm first going to do this step by step and then I'm going to teach you guys a shortcut. So the step by step process what you want to do is you want to split this up into two numbers to make it easier to take the square root. So I'm going to split it up into negative 1 times 144. And there's a reason I do this because we could take the square root of each of these individually. So by using the rules of square roots, I can split up the square root into the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 144. Just like that. You're allowed to do this only for multiplication or division. Never for a dat for a dash in, for addition or subtraction. So now the square root of negative one, we know that that is just i. That is an imaginary number. It doesn't exist. And then the square root of one forty four is just twelve. And now you always want to put your number first and then the i. That's just proper form in mathematics. So twelve i is your answer to the square root of negative one forty four. So that's step by step. But obviously when you're doing these, you don't want to do all those steps every time. It's going to take a while. So what you want to do in the future, whenever you see that you have a negative inside the square root, what I would suggest doing is taking the square root normally. And the square root of 144 we know is just 12. And then since you know that it was negative inside the square root, you just add on an i at the end. So you can go from here to here in one step. Now, of course, after you get used to it, after you have some practice, maybe doing these steps a little bit. So now for the other one, we have the square root of negative 36. So let's go ahead and do that shortcut. We know that the square root of 36 is just 6, because 6 times 6 is 36. And then, oh, we have a negative inside the square root, so that means we just add on an i, and boom, we're done. 6i is our answer. All right, hope you guys understood this new material. If you guys ever want ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit my website, www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you guys and have a good day.